All right, so apparently this is no power. Yep, it is not turning on at all. But I don't know if anything's been reconnected, so yeah. So, yeah, no power, but I don't know if the ribbons are connected or not because it's been worked on. So not a clue. Do we have any screws in here? No. Okay. All right, the ribbon is connected. So, yeah, there we go. There is that. Uh, so I'm going to unplug that for a second. Unplug that. There we are. And plug this back in now because I want to test voltage rails. Even though there's really not that many voltage rails you can test on a 1200 from this side of the board. I've got a question when we're booking a repair. Do we need a bit of paper because I have no printer? No, mate. Just write your details down. Have we worked on a pro yet? We haven't, mate, unfortunately. No. Um, looking forward to getting one in, and I'm keeping my eyes out for one faulty, but it's probably going to go for a ridiculous amount of money. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. Whether you've got a simple project that requires a quick mod board, or you want to launch your own products to the world, PCBWay can help. With fantastic pricing on multi-layer PCBs, flex PCBs, 3D printing, and even laser cutting solutions, you're sure to get everything you need all in one place. Custom PCBs start from just $5 for a one to two layer board with a fast 24 hour build time and free shipping on orders over $30. PCBWay are also proud to announce their new aluminium PCBs, which start at just $120 per square meter. Check out what PCB we have to offer by clicking on the link in the video description or the top pin comment and get your project started today. Thanks again to PCB Way for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to the repair. Right, okay, so I am going to get... Uh, I'm going to set up my multimeter in voltage mode. Um, let's just check a few voltage rails. Zoom in so you can see a little bit better. So, okay, straight away, we're missing the 5 volt. And we're also missing 12 volt. Okay, cool. Let's try that again. No, it comes with overload. That's strange. Right, do not copy anything you see on this live stream when it comes to working on power supplies. I am not a power supply expert, I am not even close. And uh, if you shock yourself while working on a power supply because you're following one of my videos, I'm going to laugh my ass off. There you go, disclaimer, <clears throat> disclaimer over. Entertainment purposes only and all of that crap. And certainly don't use a metal freaking pry tool to get into the damn thing. Because that's just rather silly. Well, duh. And the TLDR for that disclaimer there was, I don't know what I'm doing, please don't sue me. This is not a genuine power supply. This is a cheap Chinese power supply. Lovely. Hmm. Right. Okay. Do we have any power on these caps? Says overload. Are they short? Hmm. Says overload on resistance as well. What's going on? What is going on? It says open. Fuse is good. It says overload on the caps when I'm in voltage mode. 4.3 volts now. Now it's working. Wait, was I on? I weren't on AC mode, was I? Surely. I don't know. Still says overload there. There's overload there as well. 
No, it just says overload. Range auto. That's better. Okay, the power supply is working. Why is my multimeter playing up? The fuck are you doing? I've just opened this power supply up for nothing. 400 volts and stable. 395 rather. Yeah, power supply is working. What the fuck was going on with that? Right, put, put this into resistance mode. A. Hey. It sparked a little bit. <laughs> uh, that should have drained the caps. Yeah, 100 volts. Just hasn't quite drained them, but... Drained them enough. Power supply is working. It's not the power supply. That's annoying. Anyway, I think it was the range on the multimeter. Just... It should be it should be set to auto constantly, but... Apparently it's not, so never mind. Um, anyway, anyway um, now I've got the board out, I may as well go ahead and use my vent supply to power it to test the voltage rails. Right. There we are. 12 volts. Powering on. 5 amps of current. We have a short on the 12 volt rail. Um, okay. Just drain that. Uh, so we get instant current draw here. Just went over to Joey's stream and told me what a shit technician you are. Came back to your stream. Thank me later. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, mate. Nice one. <laughs> uh, right. I think we've got a short on the 12 volt rail here. Yeah. Dead short to ground. Zero ohms. So now the question is, what is causing the short? I'm going to drop down to 2 volts. I'm going to grab my thermal camera and set that up and we'll find out. It's probably going to be the MOSFETs. No signs of heat, which is annoying. Okay, we've got an issue here. Someone's soldered an inductor there, or resoldered an inductor there. Um, okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to set this up. So as I can use 2 amps. Uh, 10 amps of current. Right, now we've got 10 amps of current going through. Now we're going to see some f***ing heat. I think. I think. Or maybe not. That's nice, isn't it? 10 amps of current, and we're getting nothing. No science. So that's always nice. Well, I'll give it a minute just to see if we pick up any heat anywhere. What's the deal there on that MOSFET? There's a slight bit of heat showing up. Not actually on the MOSFET though. Where's that MOSFET? It's over here. There. There. Just there. Shut up, multimeter. Uh, yeah, that's definitely got some signs of heat around here. Um, well, around these two caps here. Let's have a look. Let's pop into the scope. So these two caps are getting warm. Well, this area in general, these two caps are getting warm. Definitely those two caps. I don't know where my macro lens is, so... Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, uh, definitely these two caps getting warm. I'm going to remove these. We've already had some work in this area. Yeah. 
Okay, one of those caps is short. We now no longer have high current draw. Um, quick sell, thank you for resubscribing, Matt. I appreciate you, buddy. I think it's that one there. I think it's that left one. It looks pretty rough. We no longer have a short. Just uh, give this a bit of a clean. I know it's cool down. Right. Which one of you is short? That one's showing a short. And so is that one. They're both short. So these are capacitors, they're not meant to be short. It's basically acting as a wire. People can say people can think what they want. There we are. Whoops. Ah, oh, and of course I've just dropped them. Where have I dropped them? I don't know if this is them or if these are the ones I've just took off. And now I've got the impossible task of figuring out which one's short. Well, it's not impossible, but... Okay, them two. Cool. Those two are short and dead. Get rid of those. Might as well replace the solder with leaded solder now. I wasn't going to, but I might as well. Oh, well. Uh, all wire. Watch for the new Smedic Hospital. Been there for seven days so far. My dad was in there the other day. Not a nice place. Hope you feel better soon, mate. Uh, yeah, my dad was in that new Smethic Hospital the other day. It's, uh, well, number one, it's an absolute freaking maze, but number two, and most importantly, every single one of my family come down with something moments after we left the fucking place. Their disease control is not good at all. Oh, this fucking, I hate these fucking solving iron tips. Yeah, not a great place to be at all, that place. Any other hospital but that one. Hope you feel better, buddy. Ah, you f <laughs> Now stop that, piece of shit. I guess I should turn my airflow down. Right, stop it. It's, it's gonna... Where's my PS5 boards? There's one. Oh, I've actually got a 1200 board here. Didn't think I did. Oh well. Right. There we go. Now they're on. I'm blowing them everywhere. Always, mate. Yeah. I love a good blow. There we are. <coughs> that was way more trouble than it was worth, considering the, it's just filtering caps and out of focus of course it is because i'm a terrible youtuber there we go right he's good okay why does that liquid metal seem a little bit runnier than normal let's get rid of that oxidation There we go. All right, anyway, power supply. The one that I thought was clever to take apart, assuming it was faulty, and it wasn't. It was just my uh, multimeter. 
All right. All right, we are. Oh, wow, that is badly oxidized. Damn. Right. Right, that should reapply. Yeah, sorry about the squeaking. Beautiful. Beautiful, mate. Okie dokie. Does she turn on? Hell yeah, she turns on. Boom. We have a winner. Ding, 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 ding. I am the best. I am the best. Thank you, guys. Oh, shit. Don't drop a metal screw onto a motherboard while it's powered on. Just a little pro tip there, you know. Just in case it wasn't obvious enough. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. He's only gone and bloody done it. Yoink. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Cool. Job is a good one, folks. That is one repaired console. I do not know where the uh, hard drive uh, SSD cover is, so I'll just pop that in there. And uh, I'll look in the box for it. I'll take the screwdriver with me. Look in the box for it in the house um, while I grab the next job. Um, I did replace that screw, so yeah, there you go. Right. That's a job done. Um, all that was wrong with this was two measly capacitors, which decided they no longer wanted to be a capacitor and they wanted to identify as a wire. Um, yeah, there you go. Job's a good one. But it did take 10 amps and a very sharp eye just to find those shorty caps. Uh, that's the beauty about the thermal camera, though. Um, if you haven't got one of these, I really, really recommend getting one. That's the beauty about the thermal camera. It, that would have taken me forever to find those shorty capacitors if I didn't have the thermal camera. It, it probably would have ended up as a no fix. So, yeah, there you go. 